Welcome to Bell Middle School, located in San Diego. Every day, educational specialist, Ms. Mora, guides her middle school students through a transformative 30-minute community building circle. My name is Ilana Mora. I'm an education specialist at Bell Middle School, and we love circle time. I'm Patrick. I'm, I'm a sixth grade. My name is Sophia, and, and I'm a uh, seventh grade. My name is Gavin. I'm a sixth grade. I am Sophia. I'm sixth grade. My name, is, my name is Andrew and I'm in sixth grade. I kind of look like an eighth grade, but I'm sixth grade. So in um, 2018, I went to the Restorative Circles training and I was the only um, education specialist mod severe teacher there. And it, um, I like it because it was simple. We just, um, everyone sat in a circle. They had the talking piece. We took turns. I wasn't sure how I was gonna adapt it to um, the students I work with. But I think over time, um, the students and the positive staff that I worked with, we found creative ideas and ways to, to learn to do activities to make it successful, where everyone had a voice. And so I think over time, um, Restorative Circles has really helped build community in my class. Now let's take a look at their community circle protocols and procedures. Phase one, establishing norms. In our class, we use circles to help build community and help teach students academic and social skills. At the start of each circle, we select a student to distribute our community norms to everyone. These norms serve as guiding principles, including taking turns, speaking kind words, keeping hands to oneself, using a quiet voice, practicing kindness, showing respect, and being polite. Once the norms have been shared, a talking piece is introduced as a symbol of who has the floor to speak. After all the norms have been read aloud, they are collected and set aside, making way for the first question of the day. Phase two, question of the day. We start out by designating a student to read aloud the day's question. The first question of today's circle is, what career do you aspire to have when you grow up? To support students in their responses, we prepare a list of various job options, making it easier for students to select a profession while holding the talking piece. Once everyone has had a chance to share their thoughts, our circle transitions to the next phase. Phase three, interactive games. Next, the students play a game of hot potato using the talking piece to understand how to properly use a verb. In this game, the students delve into the catchy lyrics of Havana. We appoint a student DJ to play the song. Each time the piece lands on a student, that student contributes new lyrics to the song by selecting something they would like to do in Havana. Following the musical game, it is time for an exciting challenge called Money, Money, Money. A student is selected to answer a math question related to dollars and cents. If they respond correctly, they earn the chance to step into the center of the circle and roll a dice, winning play many as a reward. To determine the next player, the talking piece moves around the circle in a hot potato manner. For the final game, once again, the talking piece travels around the circle in a lively hot potato fashion. When the music stops, a student is presented with a big problem, little problem scenario. A few examples of the situations might be, you receive repeated phone calls from a classmate while at school. How do you handle it? Or there's an unfamiliar student at school. Would you share your phone number with them? How would you respond? Other questions might be, a stranger offers you a ride home. What is your course of action? or you get lost at the mall and a stranger offers assistance. How do you react? Once a student shares their solutions, we encourage them to explain their choice, fostering insightful discussions and supporting the students in understanding how to navigate real life social situations in a safe manner. When someone's over here, uh -huh. and, and then somebody over there, Ask the teacher if something. So what you're saying is when you're confused or don't know, you ask the teacher, correct? Yes. Oh, all right, cool. Good answer. Wow. As the community circle draws to a close, the talking piece makes its final round, inviting students to bid farewell in unique and creative ways. For example, bye-bye. 
Bon voyage, goodbye, and adios. It's important to remember that community circles can be adapted to suit your classroom and students' needs. The goal is to foster an inclusive and nurturing environment. A circle, it's a safe place um, where students can go and sit at eye level in a circle and feel like they can share and um, trust each other. The circle time, we just have fun and learn and having a good time. You feel like you're missing something and then after you go through restorative circles and it's been a positive experience, you feel hopeful and you feel positive and, and just really good about the whole experience you just had. Circle time is like we play the music and then uh, we be the DJ and then we ask questions like money, money, same thing, trade seats. So you just choose a time in the schedule where they have something to look forward to and it's very consistent and, and they can trust that um, this activity will occur and they'll feel good about it and connected. In circle time, we get to sit down and talk to our friends or we can talk to our teachers. Circle time, mm, the teachers mm, said they want a Tracy or money rights and the kids said money rights. So you get to make choices? Mm-hmm. I think it's good not to overthink it. As long as you all come together and you all find a time to meet, then you'll start to feel more comfortable. And then when you try on different activities, it will be surprising like the responses you get. And I think you just keep learning as you go along. So I really think it would be good for everyone to just try it. And just try to sit in a circle with your class and try these exciting activities out and just see what happens. During circle time, we learn about patience. How do you like to say goodbye at the end? Uh, we say free goodbyes. Goodbyes. Yeah. My circle time is awesome.